So, in the last class, I have gave you some assignment problems to work out. If you have done that assignment problems or if you have worked out the problems what I have given you in the as an assignment, then if you have any comments or if you have any type of clarifications, you can comment me on my videos. So today we will start again with our single entry system. So we will start with problem number 10. Find out the capital at the end. We can use this as important for our small problems. Capital at the beginning. Capital at the beginning. Net profit made or net profit. So with this information, they have find out the capital at the end. They have given only two items. So yesterday also in the last class, we have seen when the capital at the beginning, capital at the end is given, they are asking you to find out the profit. They have given you in some problems, capital at the end, drawings, additional capital, and net profit or net loss. They ask you to find out some missing information. So how to work out when such type of things are given for us in the problem? I show you on the board by solving the problem. Now we will see today one more type of problem. Same simple simple problems will work out and we will try to practice them. They are asking in the problem find out the capital at the end. So they have given you capital at the beginning. They have given you profit at the end. So they are asking you what should be the capital at the end of the year. So whatever is given to you, we will do that in our pro forma only. So I will write it here. Solution. Calculation of capital at the end. So we will do in my procedure only, we will do in our format only, we will not go in any other way. We will draw first our format, capital at the end. Then for that we will add, we will draw first our format, drawings made. during the year then we will get one result then from that we will try to minus fresh or additional capital then we will get net adjusted capital From that, we will try to minus capital at the beginning. Of the year, then you will get net profit. So, this is a normal problem where we will use the format to find out the profit or loss under single entry system. So, any missing information.
information we will find out in our method only, in our format system only. So, if it is any information given in the problem, we will write the amount. If anything is not given, we will put that nil. So, they are asking you to find out the capital at the end. So, we will put this as a balancing figure. That means, this we are finding out as our result now. So, what is given in the problem? Net profit, 3200. They are given to you 3200 as your net profit. So, right here, 3200. Now, you go from downwards to upwards. 3200 is your net profit. Capital at the beginning again, 9800. So, again, you have to find out here net adjusted capital. So, when you will get the net profit, when the net adjusted capital should be more than capital at the beginning. So, how much it should be more? 9 plus 10, 13,000. This is 13,000. How you got this 13,000? When you are getting the net profit, net adjusted capital will be more than capital at the beginning. So, from compared to this amount, your amount should be more than 3,200 on net adjusted capital. So, fresh or additional capital is nil because we don't have anything. Again, 13,000, no drawings. So, capital at the beginning is 13,000. This is the way we are going to find out the capital at the beginning. So, next problem we will do 11 part. Find out the capital at the beginning. That is on thirty first March two thousand four. Capital at the end. Capital at the end. That is on thirty first March two thousand five. We have our capital given in the problem nineteen thousand. Then they are given. Net profit. We are given net profit four thousand. So we will work out this problem now. So the earlier problem, they ask you to find out the capital at the end of the year. But in this problem, they are asking you to find out the capital at the Beginning. Again the same procedure what we have applied in the earlier problems. So capital we are going to find out at the beginning. So capital at the end of the year that is on the 31st of March 2015 they gave 19,000. So we don't have any drawings put nil. So your amount of capital will be 19,000. We don't have any fresh capital put nil. 19,000 net adjusted capital but they gave in the problem net profit 4,000 is your net profit so when you will get the net profit when the capital at the beginning is less compared to net adjusted capital that is 19,000 minus 4,000 will be 15,000 capital at the beginning. If it is a loss, we will add the net loss to the net adjusted capital and we will get the capital at the beginning. If it is a profit, we will minus this amount from the net adjusted capital and the balancing figure we will take it as a capital at the beginning of the year. So I will give you a similar type of a problem as an assignment. So try that problem 
and coming to me. Can flake closing capital.
fresh or additional capital introduced. So the fresh capital introduced by him in the business is eight thousand three hundred. So minus this. So from twelve hundred from twelve to minus three. Nine, eight minus eight zero, thirty thousand nine hundred is your net adjusted capital. Capital at the beginning of the year. This is the capital when he started the business, and this is the capital at the end of his accounting period or end at a particular period. That is twenty nine thousand five hundred. So twenty four thousand is the capital at the beginning. So what is his profit made? Now ten minus four six six thousand one hundred. He made a profit in the business. Okay, so I will continue with my another same type of a problem, but one once again a small and last problem where we can calculate the some of the missing information. Right. So we are. Continuing our regular class. Now we are going to do one more problem. See this problem. Raghu traders keeps their books under single entry system. They introduce the capital of thirty thousand on one four two thousand twelve. Their drawings during the year are four thousand. They brought an additional. They brought additional capital of six thousand in their business. They earned a profit of seventeen thousand. Find out the capital at the end of the year. So they are given in this. The Raghu traders having a capital in the business on first April two thousand twelve is thirty two thousand. So we will call this as a capital at the beginning because you know very well when we are discuss the single entry system, every business. Whether it is a small business or a large business, definitely in order to keep the books of accounts, in order to maintain the records of the business, they are going to follow a cutoff period for finding either profit or loss, or to prepare their financial statement called as a balance sheet. So they maintain a gap of twelve months. Between opening the books of accounts and closing the books of accounts, normally a business will maintain a calendar year starting from January, ending on December. But sometimes a different business will follow the financial year. Financial year means they will start opening. That means when they start writing the new set of books of accounts, they start on first April. And when they close that books of accounts, they will close that books in the next year March. That means this year we started on first April to write the books of accounts. Next year March thirty first will be the cut off date for finding our profit or loss. So here, the Raghu traders are maintaining their books on first April and they are closing on thirty first of March. So this is the capital which is there in business on first April. So we will call this as a capital at the beginning because when we read further lines, you will come to know what is asked in the problem. So here you can see their drawings during the year are four thousand. They brought additional capital six thousand. In their business, they earn a profit of seventeen thousand and find out the capital at the end of the year. That is on thirty first March two thousand thirteen. So this is the capital at the beginning, first April two thousand twelve, and this is the capital at the end of the year, thirty first March two thousand thirteen. So we will find out calculation of capital. At the end, this is also called as we are finding out one of the missing information in the problem. So already format is drawn. We will post the items wherever they has to be taken. So first we will start 
Vitara Ekans. They introduced a capital of 32,000. This is called as a capital at the beginning. They will write it here. On 1st April 2012, their drawings during the year 4,000. So drawings we will write it here. Then they brought an additional capital of 6,000. 6,000 we will write it here. Then they earned a profit of 17,000. Profit they made how much? 17,000. So now we are supposed to find out again capital at the end. This is a balancing figure. Go from down to up. Okay. So when you will get the profit in the business? When the net adjusted capital is more when compared to capital at the beginning. So we will write here 32,000 plus 17,000 will give you 49,000. Now for example you find out whether this is correct or not. From 49,000 if you minus 32,000 you will get 17,000 as a net profit. So when you are having a loss we are going to get capital at the beginning more. When you are having a loss in the problem we are going to get capital at the beginning more amount when compared to net adjusted capital. So your net adjusted capital is 49,000 that means the amount after adding capital at the end that means before deducting 56,000 it should be more. So it should be how much more when you are deducted 6,000 your result is 49,000 that means here the amount will be 49,000 plus 6,000 it must be 51,000 now you see from 51,000 if you minus 6,000 you will get 49,000 so from this 59,000 you got after adding 4,000 to the figure here so what is the amount there 51,000 plus 4,000 so it should be a 55,000 in your answer. Okay. So today we are going to end our class with this problem. In the next class we are going to be discussing some important problems where the capital at the end or capital at the beginning are not given for us and they are asking to find out the profit. You have catch my point I think that is when a businessman doesn't keep any record at all that means now either is maintaining some of the records like a capital amount, capital record is capital information is maintaining that is either at the beginning or either at the end but now we will do in our next class. If a businessman is not at all knowing what is the capital at the beginning or what is the capital at the end, either of the one he will not be knowing but he will be keeping some records like personal accounts or some records like real accounts, assets and liabilities. Then how to find out our profit made under single entry system. So I will close my class with this conclusion in the next class. We will be doing some other problems of single entry. So if you have any type of doubts or any type of clarifications or any type of information required regarding the subject, you can always give your comments and view my video. Thank you.